No days off returns tonight as Mark Kuhn sits down with Perrysburg soccer coach Jorge Diaz, twice a state championship coach, once with Ottawa Hills boys in 2008, and then with the Lady Jackets in 2012. Diaz brings his passion for the sport of soccer to Northwest Ohio. So, Jorge, your journey to coaching, I don't think is like many coaches. You didn't necessarily come out of school think I'm going to be a coach. You took a different path, yet it's still been successful for you. Yeah, I, I love the sport. I grew up in Mexico and soccer is king. And uh, I wanted to come to the United States and play soccer. But back in the days, there was not a lot of scholarship money. So I actually came to play football. I was a place kicker in uh, Division II school in Morningside College in Sioux City, Iowa. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed. But at the same time, I missed soccer. So the first opportunity I had to go back, I went back playing. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my friend asked me if I could help coach his daughter team. And I said, sure, why not? And then it got more formalized and, uh, you know, started with Perrysburg Soccer Club and coached there f for like about seven to eight years. Then I went to the Greater Toledo Football Club, GTFC Impact, and um, in 2006, 2007, uh, I was good friends with Greg McElroy, right. and he was considering, you know, just doing more stuff with pace setters, so he needed like a co-head coach, and I said, sure, why not, and uh, you know, that's, that was my introduction to high school soccer coaching, per se. Did you think you would ever get into coaching? Well. I always knew that I wanted to give something back, right. you know, uh, I really didn't have too many great coaches uh, growing up. I, wa I used to watch just TV the old fashioned way, but at the same time, along those lines, there were a couple of parents that always put the time to take us to travel and go into tournaments and, and, and I really thought that that was a good thing to do and I wanted to do the same thing. Now you've coached at all levels from little kids obviously up to the high school. What's the difference between a U8 and a varsity level? Well, the U8, I think it takes a little bit of patience, you know, <laughs> uh, but at the same time, I, I enjoy them when they were that little and, and, and then just teach them the right way. Uh, a lot of kids, um, sometimes they go through uh, the years of soccer with a lot of athletic ability, but not the foot skills and the technical skills that are needed. And uh, I always felt that that was a good niche for me to do. You've also coached boys and girls. Yes. Do you have to take a different approach with, with boys and with the girls? Oh, totally. When I was with Ottawa Hills, I think the very first thing that I needed to do is gain their respect. So I played with them. I ran 200s with them, 400s. So I did almost exactly the same thing that, uh, because I felt that, that I needed to show them that I could do so they could listen. Whereas the girls, you know, uh, I felt that they like to be taught. They like to uh, work hard for you. And uh, I really didn't have to work too hard uh, convincing them. You know, uh, my X's and O's were good enough. And uh, I don't know, it has, it has been a good ride. <laughs> From time to time, do you still show off your dribbling skills? Oh, yeah. And, and every, <laughs> every game, when they're warming up, I always juggle. I like to keep my, you know, my feet on the ball, and uh, I still play over 30s and over 40s. As a matter of fact, uh, just in the German American Festival, we had a group of people uh, got together, old timers, and we had teams from uh, Windsor and Fort Wayne, and we kicked their butt. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you find you have to adapt to your players and how much do you have your players adapting to your system? Do you have a system? Yeah, I have a, 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 a very successful system. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that the good thing about what I do uh, is that I try to adapt my system to my players. Um, you know, in the girls' side, for example, um, Maddie Williams was a tremendous scorer. So our system was to feed the ball to her and let let her lead the, the goal scoring. When you don't have the Maddie Williams, then you need to create another environment where the outside forwards now are more involved in the scoring opportunities and the attacking mids are, you know, assisting more and so forth. 